I think that uh, this area would probably be quite ripe for change. It's a sentiment permeating these cafes in Victoria where people don't need prompting to talk politics. And make no mistake, they know exactly which issue will be driving votes across Vancouver Island. How big of a factor is the environment here in BC and specifically on Vancouver Island? Oh, this is very much so. And I think just conserving our the environment that we have and uh, the trees that we have um, in British Columbia is important. Those who live here see the outdoors as their own backyard. Lifelong residents fiercely protective of the pristine parts of their island. So who will they decide is the best advocate for their environmental interests? The NDP has a stronghold on Vancouver Island. Currently, five of the seven ridings are held by New Democrats, but the Green Party's only two seats are also here. One held by longtime leader Elizabeth May, the other captured just recently in a by-election. Well, it's been a very short run for me in, in Parliament. You know, I'm running again within six months of being elected. Newly minted MP Paul Manley was born and raised in the riding he now represents. Uh, this is my grandfather's old property and this is where my parents live now. In May, Manley won the Nanaimo by-election by a landslide. His surprising victory punching another green ticket to Ottawa. If this riding is any example in what we saw in the by-election, what is the dissatisfaction among NDP voters that would cause them to, to go green instead? Well, I think we've seen from the NDP a couple of governments here in BC and in Alberta where they talked a good game before they were elected. He's referring to promises from provincial NDP governments that have angered environmentalists. In Alberta, a recent NDP premier that pushed to expand the Trans Mountain Pipeline. And in BC, a current NDP premier championing a massive natural gas project. It's not lost on the federal candidates waving the orange banner back in Nanaimo. Bob Chamberlain running for the NDP. A familiar face running again for the New Democrats, Bob Chamberlain is acutely aware of that disconnect in the minds of some voters. When I hear the, that kind of a conversation on the doorsteps, I, I take the information and realize they're speaking from their heart. Mm -hmm. And what they're speaking about is a deep concern for the environment. Despite a swing of green support in the Nanaimo by-election, this political scientist says green gains are not a given in the general election. If they're the strongest performance across the country is in British Columbia, you're still perhaps not talking about all that many more seats than, uh, than they already have. Whether voters will send a message by shifting the island from orange to green, who knows? But back in Victoria, some feel change is in the air. If there is a swell building and people sense that there's some momentum, people could flip. Tanya Fletcher, CBC News, Victoria.